Hey, it's James here. So I've had a request about this tutorial series. I know it's been a long while since I've done it. However, I thought this one was worth adding as a video. This person wants to, instead of going back to the main menu and then going to the next scene, he wants to be able to click on an icon so that you can move from one scene to another by clicking an icon the same way that you would the movie or audio. So I've just made a little signpost icon, so I've got a different icon for it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate one of the icons I've already used. I'm going to move it a bit. I might just leave it beside it. I'm going to change the graphic to my icon signpost. I'm going to remove the media script because I don't need that anymore. If you're making this from scratch and you're not duplicating like I have, remember you'll need a box collider on it. I'm going to change the name of this to icon next site. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tag. And I'm going to call this next site. And we'll tag that icon with that. So let's create a new script. I'm just going to call it next site. And we'll drop that onto an icon next site. Oops, I've done it twice. Let's take one of them off and let's open that in Visual Studio. So for this, we're not actually going to need either of these functions and it's going to be a very simple thing. All we're going to do is get the index of the site that we want to go to. And to do that, I'm just going to create a variable that you can put your index into. And then we're just going to make a function that allows another class to be able to get that value. And all we'll do inside this function is return site to load. Now this will make a bit more sense in a minute while we've done this. But what this essentially lets you do is if you go back to Unity now, you now have a place just to put the index of the site you want to load. I'm going to change it to one. So let's go back to Visual Studio. And we're going to go to our Tour Manager script. And we're going to need to make some changes here. So the first thing is we're going to go to the function update. And we're going to add one more else if. And we're going to change this to next site, which is the tag that we just previously created. Now, instead in here of what we're doing, instead we're going to get the component next site. And the function we're going to call is get site to load. And so now we're going to want to put this inside our load site. So we'll go load site. And we're sending it. So we're going to get the integer from here. We'll send it to our load site function, which loads the site. However, there's one more thing we need to be aware of. Previously, when we've returned to the menu, it would deactivate all of the sites. However, load site doesn't do that. So let's go from our return to menu function and copy the hide sites, put it at the start of load site. This isn't going to really have any effect on the previous escape method, but it will mean that if you move directly from one site to another, it, it does hide the site that you're on. So let's save that. Go back to Unity. 
Well, let's give this a go and see how it works. And as you can see, now I've clicked on it and I've gone to a new site. So that's how you can go so you can navigate from one site to another. It's actually a very useful thing. So for example, if you had a number of these 360s walking down this path, you might put like a little dot here to click so that you can move to the next 360 really easily. So I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like, subscribe or comment. It really gives me the confidence to make more videos for this channel. I hope you're enjoying your development.